Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So there's just an update that I want to do. If we go to our app exceptions, the handler right here, by default it will return a 200 even though it's giving us a not found exception. That is not a good response. I forgot to add the 404 right here as well. So if the person actually gets the error, they will just get a 404. So let me just quickly show you that. Right, so as you can see, I'm currently in Postman. So if I do a send, let's quickly check if we just article 40. If I click send, as you can see, it gives us a 200 okay. That's not a good response. It means everything is okay, but if we actually get a error. Now the best way is if we can just add the 404 as well. So let's do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add the 404. Okay, so now if we do a send, you can see it now it gets a 404 not found as well. Okay, awesome. Let's continue. All right, so what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to basically work on our article controller. So if we go to our article controller and finish it up. All right, so this one right here. So currently what we have done is we finished our index, we finished our show, but now we need to do our store update and destroy all right so let's start off with the first one now the store method now in here you can make a custom request all right in order to do that all right so if you open up your terminal what you can do is php artisan uh, make a request all right and then you can call it whatever you want store article store request or whatever and then you can do your validation in there in that request itself but i'm not going to do it i'm going to do everything inside here okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to say this uh, validate and we just want to validate the request all right it's always good to validate your data now i'm just going to give you this warning so if let's say uh, for instance you're going to create an article okay don't uh, let's just do article and we just want to set it to article and then create okay don't do this request or now you don't know what data is being sent in there all right you just want to make sure that when you do request or you validate that data okay now in this case if we do request all if we go to our article model right here we've got fillable fields and we said this is the only fields that must be messed aside so if we have this protection it helps a little bit all right but if you don't please don't do this okay so that's just my preference i like to make sure whatever data i send to the database i checked it okay so that's where problems comes in all right so what do i want to do now we just want to validate the title and that's the first one Let's go with the title and just do this. All right, the title, we want the title to be required of the articles. Okay, it must be a max or you can say whatever one. Let's just make it 20 characters and it must be unique. All right, because we're going to create basically a slug from the title, but the title must be unique. Okay, so unique in the article stable. Okay, I'm not going to do the rest, just leave it as such. Okay, and then let's move on to the next one. And this is the body. Okay, so body of the article. And that is going to be also a required field. All right. And this must be a max. Or if you can decide how many, however you want. Um, I'm not even going to validate that. And I'm just going to say it must be a minimum. Minimum of, let's say, 50. No, make it 10 characters. All right, so now we've got our data all validated right there. But I'm just going to make this less because when I've tested in Postman, I don't want to cause myself too much problems. All right, let's move on to the next one. So if we get the article, all right, so let's set it to a variable. And then we're going to create basically the article. And then we're just going to call the create on it. Okay. So now we need to basically set the title. The title needs to equal to the request. All right. So because remember, we're going to get it through the request. All right. So we're just going to say the request input. Uh, input. And I'm just going to check the title. 
right so that's the first one let's move on the second one is the slug all right now with the slug what i want to do is i want to basically create the slug from the title so i'm string just make sure you import this uh, so let me just do slug all right so i'm just going to pass in the request okay so let's just do the request input title all right so let's move on to the next one this is for the body and we want to make sure the body is equal to request input body so request input and that must be to the body right now this part is important because we need to assign basically the make sure we kiss assign an id to the auth id in this case we can just say to the auth id i just remember i'm calling on the method that i created inside my model but now since before i can actually test this i need to let me just say if it's not available just put it to one but i'm not going to use this in production but I'm just going to use this for Postman right now. So if the auth ID is not there, I'm going to just make it one to John Doe. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do for now. So once I'm going to send it to production, I will remove this right here. Okay, so what we want to do now after this, I just want to return basically a new uh, article res resource. Let's just do that. And I am just want to pass in the article that we just created to the user like that. Okay, and then we just want to set a response uh, response and then we just want to set the status code so set status code and i just want to set it to a 201 okay just like that all right so now our store is all finished so because we validate the data okay and then we create the article and then we return the article to the client with a response of 201 now one just means content created all right so let's move on so we got our show all done now the next one is the update now as before what i will do is i will basically just validate the data as well so let me just copy this but now just a little change that i want to do in here i just want to say a rule unique And it must be unique in the articles table and just want to say ignore article id so article uh, title like this so i can just do that so basically what it will do is when we validate if the title is the same we just ignore it right there so let's move on so the next part that i want to do is basically article and on that i just want to call the update now the update that i want to do is basically the title i'm going to set it to the request title okay uh, let's do input title this and we're going to do that the same for the others right so what we want to do now is we're just going to return basically to back to the client a new uh, new article resource and then we just pass in the article and then we just want to do the same thing but now we're just going to send back a 200 response meaning everything is okay okay so we just do a response and we just set the status code To a 200. Right, so that's basically all done. Now let's move on to the last part of our of our controller. Now this one right here. So all we're going to do is we're just going to say the article, and we just want to call delete on it. Right, and after that we just want to return. We can do this in two ways. We can return a JSON. Right, so we can do a response like this. And then we can just do a JSON. Now, since we're not returning anything, we can just set it to null and we just return a 204. Now, 204 just basically means there's no content return. The action was successful and there's no content to return. 
right? So that's basically the first one. Or you can do just a response like this, and you can just set, and then we can just set the status code again to a 204. Just remember by default, uh, this one will just set it to the text as null as well. So we don't need to do anything right there. So you can either do a JSON response or you can do this right here. Okay. So, so that's basically what I'm going to do. So that's basically the end of the episode. So we got all this done. So the next part that we will do is we will uh, just test this all in Postman. So I'll see you there. Adios.